Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the array functions implode and explode. Okay, so in the um, last couple of tutorials, we've been looking at arrays and how to create arrays and work with arrays. In this tutorial, we'll use the implode array function, which basically turns an array into a string. So it takes an array and turns it into a string. And we'll also look at the explode function which can take a string and turn that into an array. Okay, so to start with, I'll create an array and I am going to call my array, array Avengers. Okay, just to be a little bit different this time. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at the implode and explode array functions. So. In the past couple of tutorials, we've been looking at how to create arrays and how to work with arrays in PHP. Now we're going to look at two functions. Um, one is the implode function, which um, basically turns an array into a string. And the other one is the explode function, which turns a string into an array. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to create an array and use the implode function to turn that array into a string. So I'll create an array. I'm going to make this array on the Avengers just for something different. So I've got an array called Avengers and I'm going to put, start putting the character names in of the Avengers. Or just a few of them at least. Uh, so got Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, uh, who else is there? Hawkeye. Uh, Black Widow, and um, might leave it at that. Okay, so there we go. We've got an array called Avengers, and it has one, two, three, four, five items in it, the names of the Avengers. Okay, so we're going to start with using the implode function, which turns an array into a string. Okay, and um, we can create a variable that can then hold this string. So we could say um, Avengers string equals, and then we can say implode. And in brackets, there are two things that we need to specify. The first thing is um, what we want to use um, to join each or separate each part of um, the array in the string. So um, what we can do is basically add a space. So we can add a um, quotation mark and then we could have sort of like a space. All right. Um, so what that will do is when it implodes or um, turns each of these items in the array into a string, it will insert a space between each item. So we just add a space there to do that. Or you could have something else if you wanted to. You could have a comma or just nothing at all if you wanted it to be one word. Okay. And then we put a comma and the actual array that we want to implode, which is called Avengers. Okay. And that's basically it. Okay. So in, in this section here inside the quotation marks, it can be anything like a space. What we'll do is just echo that out. So echo. Echo Avengers string to display that on the screen. We'll go to the browser. And there we go. So we've got Iron Man, Space, Thor, Space, uh, Hulk, Space, Hawkeye, Space, Black Widow. So we've taken each item in the array, um, put it into a string, and then separated those array items in the string with a space. So we instead of a space, we could use like a comma. So it would look like that. Um, or anything else, really. So, a plus sign. Okay, so basically that there, the first parameter here is what will separate each item in the string for each item that's taken from the array and put into the string. Okay, now what we can do is use the explode function. So, explode um, basically turns a string into an array. Okay, so we can um, create a string variable. Um, 
Okay, so you can say, um, what can we call this one? Um, superheroes, oops, superheroes string equals, and then we can put some names of superheroes in there. Okay, so this is just a string. So what I can do is just put all of the superhero names inside this string. So I might say Wolverine, Batman, um, maybe Hulk again, Spider-Man, um, what's that, Storm, oops, um, from X-Men, <laughs> and maybe we'll use Iron Man again. Okay, so what we'll do now is take this string and turn it into an array. So we can create another variable which will store the array. And we can call this superheroes array. And then we can use the explode function. And then in brackets, what we'll do this time is specify what we want to use as the um, the join us, so basically we've got Wolverine, space, Bat Batman, space, Hulk. So if we want to take each word separately and put it into the array, then we can use these spaces here to separate each word and make that a new item in the array. Okay, so in quotation marks we can add a space and then comma and put in the variable that, of the string that we're taking, which is superhero string. All right, so now I'll, do, I'll just comment out this line here so we don't see that echo statement anymore. And we'll echo out, uh, actually, what we'll do is echo out the superheroes array and just the first item in that array to begin with. Okay, so refresh, and then we have Wolverine. Okay, now if we change it to one, we should get Batman and so on. Now what that's going to do is it's going to look for any spaces and then make that whatever comes after that space a new item in the array. So it goes Wolverine space, okay so Wolverine's the first item in the array, then Batman space Hulk space Spider-Man space Storm and then space Iron space Man. So we have Iron Man here put in as two separate items or two words in the array. So what we could do is maybe just separate each one by commas instead and leave that space there and now we can use the comma there as the separator and if we put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we echo out index 5 from that array then we should see the Iron Man as two words, okay? But if we had spaces there and space here and put Echo Superheroes Array 5, we would only see iron, okay? So that's basically how to turn an array into a string and turn a string into an array using the implode and explode functions. Thanks for watching.